In an ongoing effort to make the Media Manager even better, I've got an update to some pretty important CSS that makes your videos 100% responsive. My name is Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. Thanks for joining me today. So this past weekend, I was in Asheville, North Carolina, having a great time at Drupal Camp Asheville. By the way, if you've not been to a camp lately, you really should. Asheville was terrific, met some fantastic people, and I presented the ultimate guide to the media module at the camp. One of the guys in the room looked at the CSS for making videos 100% responsive and said, I think I can do better. And so later on during a lightning talk, well, he did. So I want to share that with you today. Let's take a look. So I'm over here at a plain vanilla Drupal site. I've got the media module turned on. I've got Acid Injector installed just so I can update the CSS without messing with the theme. And I'm also using the OEmbed Providers module that we talk about in our course. And I've created a bucket that will use TED videos, and of course, Vimeo and YouTube. And as well, you've got all of these options. If you're interested in understanding how this works, you can check out the course at OS Training. Well, I created a new media type called New Remote Video, and I added two fields to the article content type, one for the new remote video and one for the original remote video media type, just to make sure it works for all. All right, let's first take a look at the node. Here's the test article. There's me on the dragon's tail. And here's a TED video. Here's a YouTube video and another YouTube video. The top two are coming out of OEmbed Provider. And the bottom one is coming out of the original remote video media type. Let's take a look at the CSS. You're going to be blown away. Configuration, development, asset injector, CSS injector. All right, well, here's the old CSS. We targeted the OEmbed field name class as well as the media and OEmbed content class. Well, that never did work with OEmbed providers. So here's the new code. iframe width is a minimum of 1040 pixels and set to 100%. And then the corresponding height of that frame using the clamp function. Clamp. The clamp function clamps a middle value with a range of values between a defined minimum bound and maximum bound. Now, I'd not used this before, but the link to this article is in the description below. And so we clamped it at a minimum of 150 pixels, 48% the width with a maximum of 480 pixels. Now, you can play around with this 480 pixels because it doesn't quite give you a 16 by 9 frame all the time, but I have found that 480 is basically what I want most of the time. So I'm going to click Save, of course, and then head back over to my site. And you can see that these videos look really great. You can see that the height of 480 isn't probably what exactly you want. All right. There might be some boxing around that as well, as you can see here in this one. So you can probably switch that 480 pixels down to around 420 or even 390. It just depends on what you want. Depending on the width of the content area, well, that will shift up and down. So that's it from, I don't know, 15 lines of CSS to two. That's pretty awesome. Thanks to Kevin Hurley. I met him, of course, at the camp this past weekend. You can find him in the Drupal Slack channel or on LinkedIn. Terrific guy. Thanks, Kevin. Appreciate it a lot. This tip is a nice update to one we've done before on making your videos 100% responsive in Drupal 10. And it does work now with remote video and OMP providers. Well, as always, this is OS Tips from OS Training. My name's Rod Martin. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.